Good day there. Um, today I'm doing a brew uh, named uh, Cascade Pale Smash. It's not officially a smash because it's it's got 150 grams of a, a sigillated malt in it, but that's just to uh, correct my pH. I normally get around 5.4 ish, and I figure if I use 150 grams of uh, sour grapes acidulated malt um i'll i should should be closer to 5.2 anyway we've got the strike water coming up to temperature i'm just going to weigh out my grains and uh crush them and uh i'll be right back and here's the grains um i've just weighed them out and we are sitting at right on five kilos right on five kilos okay so i will get on with crushing these and we'll be right back And as you can see, we have just hit our strike temperature, so we're going to uh, dough in. Okay, and this is, this is essentially how I dough in basically just dump it all in just dump it all in and give it a stir and that's Let's see how close we got to our temperature. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, well, 63.7, so we're 0.3 of a degree under where we want it to be. So next time, I'll probably up my strike temperature by about half a degree to 70.5. So we're getting closer. I'm dialing in this new temperature gauge. Anyway, uh, we've just got a mash for an hour, and then I'll be back with the uh, sparging and... Uh, on with the process. Fun, fun, fun. And by the, by the time I let it uh, level out in the uh, mash tun, we hit our 64, so that's not so bad. So my mash pH was like 5.4 still, but it's a smash, so I don't know if using, you know, uh, I used 150 grams of sour grapes just to try to adjust my pH but I mean without it it would have been five 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 six so maybe a little more or I don't know what are your thoughts guys it's all experimental I mean you know I'm I'm learning as I'm going so that's the main thing always learn always the apprentice never the tradesman Okay, so I'm going to collect a little bit of uh, 
wart, uh, the mash timer just went off and I want to make sure I've converted all the starches into sugars. So there we have a little bit of wart, just a touch, and hopefully it doesn't go black. Looking like there could be a yeah, it's looking like probably get a little more conversion out of there, but we've got our sparge to go, so that will be all good. Okay, so we're going to sparge with our uh, 80, 80 degree uh, sparge water. Let's see how that works out. With our um, temperatures. Seventy two point one. Beautiful. Yep, that'll do me. And then we go with our twenty grams at sixty minutes. Now I like to get the whole bag wet. And then we put that clip on there and this clip over here so that we've got a wee entrance to uh, add our next lot of hops okay we have reached our 45 minutes in so we've got 15 to go and I'm gonna add my 30 grams of uh, cascade Ooh, ooh. Trying to sneak out. Okay, here we go. Give that a bit of a mix up. And we'll let it do its thing. Just about forgot the Irish moss. Okay, the alarm just went off for flame out. So, I'll turn them off. And I'll remove them. So, we've hit 23, or oh, 24. Sort of, if I move it around, it's 23.6. Five, four, three, two, one, twenty-two point, around about twenty-two point five. 
so it will be right going into uh, the fermenter shortly. Right, we'll aerate our wort now. And that's doing lovely stuff over there. Stir it a wee bit. There we go. Put the fermenter lid on. Some water in the airlock because I just use water, I don't worry about vodka. So, there it is in the fermenter, and our temperature is currently 21.5, so that's pretty damn good, I would suspect. And we've got it set for 22. So, excellent stuff. Ferment away, yeasties. Do your fine. Cheers.